To add special characters and symbols to your lettering, you can open Object Properties and go to the Lettering tab. Click on Select Character and a dialog box opens. You can view the fonts in Artistic View by clicking on the Show in True View icon in the upper right hand corner. And then you will see the symbols in actual satin stitches. To select a character, simply click on the character you wish to use and appears in the selection box. Continue to select the characters. You can find numbers here. You can also find lettering here. After you get your selection made, simply click OK, click on Apply, and then click on screen to generate the lettering. There are special fonts for fancy lettering and special fonts for monogramming also included in the software that can be accessed through the Select Character button. One of these special fonts is called Creative Cross. So I'm going to select the font and press Enter once I find it in the drop-down box. Click on Select Character. At the very beginning, you'll have simple cross-stitch designs that can be selected. And again, by clicking on them, the uh, characters appear in the selection box. I'm going to scroll down and then I will find some actual letters and I can click on those to select those. And scrolling down further gives me letters that are just cross-stitch only with no designs. When I click OK, click on Apply, and click on Screen, those symbols and letters are generated. Another fancy alphabet is called Secret Garden, and I can pull that up from the drop-down list. Again, click on Select Character, and at the beginning I will have some designs and scrolling down I have a full alphabet and I can click on the letters again they're added in the selection box click OK click on apply click on screen to generate there are two fonts for monogramming in the software these are called diamond 2 and diamond 3 diamond 2 is for two-letter monograms and Diamond 3 is for three-letter monograms. Simply select it and then click on Select Character. The first group of letters you'll find are slanted for the left side and then the second set of letters are those for the right side. You simply select your first letter, scroll down and select your second letter and then if you want to have the ornaments on each side of it, you'll select the ornaments, click OK, and then change the size to be appropriate for the monogram that you're going to do. Click on Apply and click on Screen to generate that monogram. The Diamond 3 monogram is for three-letter monograms. Again, click on the Select Character. This style of lettering has three groups of lettering. One group is going to be for the left side, one for the middle, and one for the right. The center letters are shown first, then the left, and lastly, the right letters. You'll select a border after the letters are selected. So if I were selecting my letters, I'll, I would do first initial, scroll up, select middle initial, and then scroll down to select third initial. Then you can select the frame, click OK. Change, again, remember to change the height of the letter. And I'll select two, click on apply, and click on screen to generate the letters.